Emma and Camilla, please step forward. Emma, all the judges agree that you are a beautiful girl, but it's not translating photographically. Your lack of confidence is apparent in your photographs and it will hamper your progress. Camilla, there is a sparkle in your eyes when you stand in front of us, but that's useless if we can't see it in the photo. To be a model, you need to connect with the camera. It's more than being just a really pretty girl. There has to be something behind the eyes. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack her belongings and leave the competition immediately. Emma, congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Thank you. Camilla, I'm sorry, darling. Your journey ends here. But you've been great and you're so gorgeous. Thanks. Lovely, lovely having you. Thank you. Nice meeting everybody. Good luck. Christy and Belinda, can you please step forward? The panel has reviewed your attitude, your potential and your photos this week and a decision has been made. Belinda. The judges don't mind kooky, but they get frustrated with a beautiful, interesting girl that can't deliver. It's time to step up to the challenge and show us that you want to be here. Christy, you look like a model, but we need more than that. We need somebody who will set the modelling industry on fire. And so far, you've just shown us more of the same. We need to be inspired. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack her belongings and leave the house immediately. Belinda, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Christy, I'm sorry, darling, but your journey ends here. Okay. Emma and Layden, can you please step forward? Both of you seem to be harbouring real doubts about whether you should actually even be in this competition. Emma, you have an amazing face, soft and relaxed, but your lack of confidence is holding you back. Layden, you have a strong body, not a masculine one. And you gave us a great photo, despite the obvious fears. To be a top model, you need passion. So get some fast. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack her belongings and leave the competition immediately. Layden. Congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Emma, I'm sorry, darling. It's time for you to go home. It's a pleasure, darling. I'm sure that you are going to have a great modelling career, Emma, anyway. Linda and Rebecca, please step forward. Belinda, 
Our photographer felt that there was a block between you and him and that you didn't want to be there. An amazing face can only get you so far, but we need more. It's been four weeks now and we don't know if you've improved enough. Rebecca, you took a good shot, but not a great shot. And it wasn't because of you. You had an amazing photographer and style team. You need to work both on and off the set and you need to start spending some time in the gym and eating correctly. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack her bags and leave the competition immediately. Rebecca, congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Thank you. Thank you, Jodie. Belle, thank you, darling. I told you guys. I told you. And you know what you can do? You can all fuck off. <laughs> Elise and Alamella, can you please come forward? Elise, your energy is engaging and it can work in your favour, but we want to see you channel your excitement. It's not always appropriate and it can get a little annoying. You need more focus and less folly. Alamella, your poise and elegance sets you apart from the other girls, but the judges feel that there is too much control and not enough spontaneity. A model needs to be believable in a variety of situations. The judges aren't sure whether you're capable of this. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack your bags and leave the competition immediately. Elise, congratulations. You're still on the running to become Australia's next top model. Thanks, Mum. Ella Mella. Thank you. Thank you so much for being such Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for your hard work. Thanks Thanks for having me. You worked really hard. Who's going to feed the four? <laughs> I'll feed them. Carry <laughs> Elise, Jamie and Layden, please step forward. Elise. In the past, we've seen confidence go to your head, but in front of the camera, it goes to your hips. You need to watch that and stay out of the kitchen and get into the gym. Jamie. This week was all about movement. With your amazing body, bombshell looks and dance experience, we saw great things from you this week. But you didn't bring any of these qualities to your photo shoot. Layden, we've told you time and time again that you have what it takes to be a great model. Unfortunately, your self-doubt and your attitude has kept you from letting your beautiful self shine. We're sick of your constant moodiness. The name of the two girls I don't call must make their way back to the house, pick up their bags and leave the competition immediately. Elise. Oh 
Congratulations, you're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. <laughs> Jamie and Layden, I'm sorry guys, but your journey ends here. You've been so wonderful though, both of you. <laughs> Rebecca and Elise, please come forward. Rebecca, you've been struggling for the last few weeks to claim your place in this competition. You're a beautiful and charismatic girl, but you are not bringing that energy to your photo shoots. Elise, at the beginning of this competition, we all had high hopes that you could have been a winner, but we have failed to see your natural beauty translate into your photographs. You have shown us this week that you can produce a gorgeous photo, but your other photo leaves a lot to be desired. You need to stop modelling and start listening to the people around you. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack your bags and leave the competition immediately. Elise, congratulations. Karis and Elise, can you please step forward? Elise, we have seen you here before, but this is the best photo we've seen of you. Finally, you have delivered a beautiful, natural photograph. But have you really turned a corner or was this just a lucky shot? Karis, the opposite. After starring for weeks, this is the first time you've been in the bottom two. You've disappointed all week, and for the first time, the effort that we know you put in hasn't translated into your photograph. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack her belongings, and leave this competition immediately. Paris. Congratulations. Oh. You're still so running to become Australia's next top model. <laughs> so exciting. Thank you. Congratulations, honey. Elise, I'm sorry, Dan. So much. It's a pleasure. Amazing time. <laughs> Karis and Alex, can you please step forward? I only have one photo in my hand. Unfortunately, there's only one seat left on the plane. The panel has reviewed your attitude, your potential and your photos from this week and a decision has been made. Karis, We've been blown away by your transformation. You listened to our advice and you worked hard and gained a lot of confidence. But we're concerned that you don't have enough confidence to cut it in an international market. Alex, we were thrilled to see your new strong editorial look. However, we're tired of endless excuses and we're not convinced that you've been taking our advice on board. The girl whose name I don't call out must make her way back to the house, 
pack her belongings and leave the competition immediately. Alex, congratulations. You're still in the running to become Australia's next top model. Karis, I'm sorry, darling. Melza, please step forward. Demelza, at 16 you have shown great resilience and a desire to become Australia's next top model, but the judges aren't convinced that you're ready or that you have the maturity that's necessary to do it. Sam, Sam, you've been the dark horse in this competition and you've timed your rise to perfection. But the judges are concerned that you'll look maybe too commercial and lacks the edge that is required. The girl's name that I don't call out must make her way back to the house, pack her belongings and leave the competition immediately. Malza. Congratulations, darling. You're still in the running to become to the finalist. Oh, Sammy. Darling, you've been so wonderful, sweetheart. It's my pleasure, darling. You're so beautiful. Proud of you, Sam. Well done. Yeah, come well done, home. Sam. Well done. <laughs> You're fantastic. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We're about to announce who will be Australia's next top model. To make this all-important announcement, we have a very special message from Paris, from last year's winner and the most successful model to come out of the top model franchise, the gorgeous Miss Alice Bordeaux. Hey everyone, it's Alice here. I wish I could have been there tonight, but I'm actually in Paris. Australia's Next Top Model changed my life, and tonight, Alex and Demelza is going to change one of yours. The winner this year of Australia's Next Top Model is Demelza. Yeah!